Hello citizens of Britannia, this is Ultimo Online Second Age brought to you by Blade Spirit. Today we're going to talk about rising weapon skills, which are these. Any of them. Uh, where are they? Combat ratings. We're talking about... Uh, not archery, okay, <laughs> of course. But fencing, we're talking about mace fighting, we're talking about swordsmanship, and we're talking about tactics, and we're talking about wrestling. So, how are you going to do that? Are you going to do that at Brick Graveyard? Are you going to do that at Bone Wall? No, guys, this is 2023, as I always tell you. You're going to do it the right way. The right way of doing it is, remember, first of all, even if you are new, you're allowed three accounts here on Second Age, and each account has five characters. So you're allowed 15 characters. So what you want to do is if you're new here, you start a character, maybe you want to build your tank mage, maybe you want to build your bard, you want to build anything, you want to build your warrior with weapon skill, and this is on your first account. Then on your second account, you're going to create a character with 50 healing and 50 anatomy, and you will run bandages on that account, healing either your main character training something, or the paladin or the warrior you're training something onto. So, let's dive straight into this. The first thing you have to do is go here. Let's check a rune. I should have a rune to gel on pits. Okay, let's go there. You go gel on pits. Okay, here there are several NPCs, and you're gonna bash at them, but not this way. You need to hire them. So what you have to do here is, basically, choose the NPC you want to train on. I suggest picking NPCs with heavy armor, for instance, this guy. This guy is in plate armor, so you're going to do less damage to this guy. He also has a shield. Whereas on this guy, in ring man armor, you're going to do much more damage onto this guy. So it means that you're going to have to heal him more. Okay, what you do is, okay, you want to grab this character, okay, so what's the name, Erlina, okay, so you type Erlina Hire, what, yeah, whatever, Erlina Hire, okay, 102, 102 GP, okay, now, this is a hireling, Hired guy, okay. So, you type to follow. And you, you have two choices here. If you have a house, you can do it in your house. If you don't have a house, you can do it here. It's no problem. This is not a guard zone. Okay, you have to keep an eye on this. Somebody might come and kill you, but it's very unlikely, to be honest. And what you have to do is set up things like this. Uh, hold on, let me let me check a thing. Because, yeah, okay, put arrows up on what you want to train, of course. Put arrows down on what you have to move down, because you, uh, the scap, if you reach the cap, you, you need to, do, to have this. So tell this guy to stay. The point is, you're going to tell this guy to attack you. Okay, all kill. Let me check if I have it on macro. Okay, I don't. Okay, no problem. I'll type it. And once you, you have told this guy to attack you, you have to invis yourself. You can either do it with this character or have another character invis this character that has been aggroed. Once you have done this, you go next to the paladin or the hireling again. You will start bashing at him and he will not bash back at you. So let's try and do this. Uh, all kill. Let, let, let's see if, if I can do that. Okay, I say all kill, and I target myself. Okay. Okay. I should be bashing at him, but he's not bashing back at me, you see? Okay, let's imagine I want to train swords. I only have this 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 uh, this with me, or, or no? I have fencing. Let's let's do fencing because I have the right weapon. Fencing. Let's move up fencing. 
armed dagger. Okay, let's start game fencing. Okay, you can do this with every single skill. Okay, you can do it with fencing, mace, swords, tactics, wrestling. Okay, uh, you can technically do it also with archery, but it doesn't make any sense to do this with archery. Archery is trained another way. You can do it this way, but with archery there is a problem, which I'm going to tell you right now. The problem is that you, you see I'm not doing much damage to this guy because it is in played mail, but generally once you reach 100, once you're close to 100 tactics and you're close to 100 weapon skill, you're going to hit this guy a lot and do a lot of damage, even with the weapons like this. So you need a healer to heal this guy with bandages. So what you have to do is pick a fast and a low damage weapon. For instance, for fencing, let's, let, let's move through them. Fencing, let's dab out. Okay. Fencing, you need to have a dagger. And you have to you need to have multiple daggers. So I suggest you buy like five, ten daggers from an NPC from NPC vendors, and uh, because you will break them. You will break like five, six, seven before you reach GM. So dagger, high speed and uh, low damage. If you want to train uh, mace fighting, you're going to need a wand. Okay, You can bash with a wand and do close to no damage. A wand is not the fastest mace weapon, but uh, I, I think the fastest mace weapon is the quarter stuff, but that's a lot of damage, so it's uh, out of question. If you want to raise swords, you do it with a butcher knife. And if you want to have wrestli raise wrestling, yeah with your bare fists. The problem I was saying regarding archery, you may also raise archery like this, but the problem is even with the bow and with the low tactics, let's say in the beginning, you do way too much damage and you're gonna kill this guy. You're gonna kill this guy no matter what. After a while you're gonna kill that guy. And if you kill that guy, the point is, okay, you can set up the macro again, but the point is, uh, maybe you leave it overnight, uh, you have uh, eight hours ahead of training, uh, the guy dies after one hour, so uh, you wasted seven hours. So, so archery is another way, is another video, and uh, is something else. This is the method. If you want to do it in your house, bear in mind that this character, of course, can be killed with the Earthquake if it's reachable. And uh, yeah, you will lose your your training time, but uh, that's not a problem. If you are doing this in your house, remember that when you gate in, people can sneak into your gates. So be careful, always do detect hidden after the gate closes. Remember, very important. And this can get you straight to GM. So you can do this at uh, Jellon Pit, uh, where you rarely find paladins. This is a paladin, I believe it's called, yeah, paladin. Uh, let me take a look, paladin, here. While other guys, this guy, for instance, is a fighter and it's in leather armor, no way you will do too much damage on that guy. Uh, all these are all fighters. The only guys in... Um, in plate armor are paladins. There's another place where you can find paladins that I show you. Okay, the other place is around here. What? Where which is uh, the Lucian. There should be paladins somewhere here. I can't remember. Mm, yeah, because I've never done I've never done it here with paladins. Let me put on the map. Yeah, there should be paladins here. If you find paladins here, the only problem is that you have to gate them out because here is guard zone, you cannot attack them. And yeah, here, how do I go there again? How do I go? Oh, right here. Okay, I killed the demon there with the... Okay. Because there was a demon at Del Passage. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why. Yeah, here, there should be only paladins. Yeah, okay, paladin. Okay, Paladin, Paladin, Paladin. This is uh, not Guard Zone, or this is Guard Zone. Yeah, this building is inside Guard Zone. 
Yeah, you may want to drag them out and kill them, but I really suggest that you get them out to your house or, or to wherever. Honestly, honestly, wherever. You may find also a very quiet place. There are many. Even like one tile, no, one tile, no, but three tile island. I mean, who's going to come catch you at three tile island? You, but there you recall and get there and it's going to be no problem. And uh, this is very effective. It's a matter of, uh, I believe, um, one day, 24 hours, plus starting from zero, maybe, to raise uh, a weapon skill to GM. And once you raise your weapon skill to GM, you're going to have 95-ish uh, tactics. So you might want to refine tactics. It's, tactics is lower, and 95 to GM is maybe a three to four more hours. Or if you have a second weapon skill, because let's, let's imagine you're training a, a tank mage, you have to to raise uh, swords and then you raise wrestle and uh, the point is you're yeah what the, by the time you gm uh, your first weapon skill you are 95 by the time you gm the second you will gm also tactics and this is very important because it can be done totally afk you raise weapon skill on this guy you raise healing on the other guy because you're gonna need uh, your you will be healing uh, the, the paladin a lot so at least even if you start with 50, you at least end up with 70, I believe. After which, if you want to train healing, is another video. Okay, you do it with the snake method, and then you do it with the rest method, and so forth up to GM. But that's another story. So, uh, so let's switch to this camera for now. So it's really easy to train these skills, so do it the right way, because you will enjoy Ultima Online Second Age a lot more. You can train also on two characters at once on a single paladin because why not and uh, healing you may tune your healing to one every 10 seconds one every 15 seconds maybe even one every 20 seconds if you don't fail and if you don't do a lot of damage so yeah i know it can be fun it can be nostalgic to raise uh, weapons at the uh, graveyards or at harpies at covetous but yeah, i think you're gonna have a lot more fun rising skills so focus on rising skills and then after you have raised your skills you go you go do your stuff so this is everything for this video i encourage you to take a look on on the video on how to raise stats efficiently in 2023 and take a look of on uh, some of my other videos including um, the streaming of sally which is this girl that I'm raising with absolutely no macro and hotkey, and uh, which is what you maybe remember from 1997, but that's another story. So I thank you all for watching. In case you like the channel, please subscribe and uh, like the videos and comment. And uh, I'll see you soon. Goodbye, citizens of Britannia.